Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video, and this time we are going to make a look to the Black Templars um, book. So this is the expansion for uh, yeah, it's a su codex supplement for the Black Templars. So you need as well the Space Marine Codex to play with them. And here we have what are the special rules and the units for the Black Templars, and as well the background. So if we open the book, it's normally these books are not very thick and we are talking about uh, 80 pages in that case so we are going to have here as, as normally we have here the content that means that at the beginning we are going to have uh, some background very nice pictures full color hardcover nice print so i think the, the yeah what you expect normally from this type of books from games workshop these days right if you compare to what we used to have in the past so yeah they have improved we have herald here here and there you can see more heraldy uh, a little bit um, inspired on the traditional heraldy in, in in Europe in the Middle Age right modified and you can see it really nice in artwork and this is combined with the background and the history as well some of the more recent uh, theaters of war and you can see here we have all the background that you need to play and uh, to, to have some knowledge or to have some yeah yeah as I say background of the army right here we see as well how they are organized and then we go to the um, showcase or the pictures where you can see how they are painted and you can see different styles uh, as well so Black Templar is quite a unique, uh, it's, a, it's quite an icon iconic second foundation uh, chapter. Really, really nice paint jobs, looking great. And then we go to the rules. Okay, so we are going to have as well the combat patrol here, defined so you can see what will come in the combat patrol. We have one of the detachment abilities, Templar bows. Okay. We have here the, it's, it's, this is unique from the Templar, the Black Templar. Okay, so they have some bows that you uh, you, uh, you need to choose. I think one at the end of the uh, brain mission briefing step, you can select one of the following bows. Okay, and then each bow will give you different um, uh, bonuses, okay, or abilities. And it's interesting because yeah, you, know, you have. Uh, so for the, you have a, a, a positive and a negative, right? For example, let's read the first one. Each time this model in this unit uh, makes a melee attack against a non-vehicle unit, a uh, modified roll of a six automatically wounds the target. Okay, super good. Each time this unit selects uh, to charge the closest enemy non-aircraft unit within 12 inches and not within engagement range of any Black Templars unit from your army must be declared uh, as a charge. So you have you are forced to charge the closest unit. Okay? So you win this bonus but you, you all, all is, is a benefit and a drawback. So it's, it's quite interesting. We have here the stratagems. Remember these stratagems are piling with the Space Marine stratagems. We have the, the litanies. Warlord traits of course they will not have um, psychic powers because they they don't have psychers in in the black templars and then we have here the different relics uh, the relic bearers and the chapter approved rules okay so these are the second the secondary missions for the black templars and then we have the crusade rules and i like the crusade rules because um they uh, are really enjoying a lot the crusade rules and here what we have is they will have uh, they will create an oath. Okay, you will have. Uh, you need to choose um, a deed, a for, a condition, and a situation. Okay, and you, if you accomplish the fourth, uh, the four, the four, um, the full sentences. Okay, it's like a sentence. You say, for example, uh, um, so you can have bring. So you, you choose one from here, so you have to choose one, uh, each one will give you a condition that you have to accomplish and a benefit, right? A, a, a price or a 
bonus. So if you do the four conditions, you get the four bonuses. You don't get any bonus if you don't complete just um, if you don't complete the four of them. And they are there until you accomplish them. Okay, then you have the more relics for crusade. Okay, you have the crusade relics. Then you have the reclaimed relics. So the special rules, I did not read all in detail, I just received the codex and then we have the data sheets where we are going to have the different um, here we are going to see the, the specific units for the Black Templars. For example, we have the High Marshal Helbridge, Chaplain Grimaldus, the Emperor's Champion, very iconic um, the character of the Black Templars. The primary is Crusader Squad, the Crusader Squad, the, and the primary is Sword uh, Breton. Okay, so these are the the really the elite guys with the power sword. I think it's a power sword, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, power axe, power mole, power sword. So yeah, and then yeah, with this we have here the the picture of the this was the third edition cover of the starter set. Uh, very iconic and, um, illustration. If you've been in, if you've been in Warhammer for a while, this is a super iconic uh, piece of art. And then we have the point and the weapon profiles, and we arrive to the end, right? So here you have the glossary, and of course we have the code there, but I will not share it. So this is what you have on this book. Okay, I hope you you. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you so you can see what it's Black Temple is about. You remember, they are like a very medieval looking like, right? Uh, it's, they are the, like uh, the most fanatic and they don't follow uh, the Codex Nader of uh, Gilliman. So, yeah, that's all what I want to share here. So I hope you find this interesting. Please give a like if you have liked this video and as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!